This is the best Sunseeker 95 yacht you can buy right now. Why? Because she has one owner from you. She's the only one with the MEN engine, giving you more reliability and lower consumption. She's VT paid and she has a very high spec. So today I'm on the Sunseeker 95 yacht built in 2018 and I will give you a full video walkthrough tour right now. So let's start here in the aft cockpit where on the sides you have this little uh, bossin to uh, the sink to actually wash your hands which I think, think is quite nice um, after you touch the mooring lines or you want to just uh, wash your hands after the table. Then here you have your mooring winches and you can, uh, if you come closer a bit, then you see that you have the uh, nice uh, storage for the lines. So when they're dirty, everything washes out here and doesn't make the, the teak deck um, um, dirty. And then basically uh, here you have some uh, cleats and then you can feed the line through these uh, openings and that's very uh, accessible. And on the back, if you come a bit closer, you have the two extra aft cleats, which I think is quite good to have the uh, cross lines in the marina. And then obviously for safety, you have this um, doors that you can lock um, in place. So if you have kids, then this is a good way to keep that, um, to keep them safe. And now um, let's move over here where you can see the big generous space. And something special about this table is actually that uh, shows how meticulously the owner takes care um, of the boat and of course also the captain and crew. It, the table looks like new but they basically store it every winter in a dry space so it stays as clean and new as possible and it's not been sanded that's original condition of the table i mean uh, this looks like brand new to me it has this um, classy uh, sunseeker glass inset which uh, um, the sunseeker aficionados uh, like a lot as well as of course the sunseeker logo in those doors and then this is the uh, after sofa with the two directed chairs. And then important to mention is of course the third station um, where you basically have the engine uh, controls. And if you come closer, you can actually take a look. You have the um, side power uh, hydraulic thrusters uh, for the bow and the stern thruster. You can have uh, and also the engine controls here. I think that's uh, very, very good to maneuver in the marina. And then here you have the Besançon gangway controls and also the hydraulic bathing platform. And now let's have a look at the engine room that you access to this hatch. And uh, I'm gonna go down for a second. If you give me the camera, I can quickly show you what's going on down here. So here we are in the engine room. We have the V12 MAN with the 1900, 1900 horsepowers. And then we have the two times 20 kilowatt generators and we have another generator which is basically behind here so the boat has 60 kilowatts in total and it has an atlas frequency converter so even in the us you could use the 110 volts um, or for the 400 volts uh, converted down you have the chillers for the air conditioning and also you have a 250 liter per hour water maker with the blinking light over there and then, um, yeah, this is the well-equipped and well-maintained engine room that uh, looks pretty neat. So now, let's check out the saloon, which you enter through this uh, sliding door made out of glass, and then you realize how spacious it is and this uh, sofa is nicely enclosed with this uh, carpet which gives a nice feeling on the barefoot, uh, bare feet and then also you have a very good view because you have a good seating position so you can look at the uh, side window over here you're very high up which I really like so the designers at Sunseeker did a great job because sometimes you're, the reeling is too high and then your view is blocked when sitting down behind of course is the TV uh, which is an rise and fall mechanism and then you have a uh, little storage unit over there and you see the panoramic uh, glass window and everything is in a wenge dark uh, wood with a high gloss uh, lacquer finish and then a very nice feature of course is here the sliding um, side door on the starboard side with the hydraulic fold-out balcony so you have that unobstructed view 
and then this dining table to seat for up to eight people and is also made of the uh, of, of this dark wenge high gloss uh, finished wood and then um, basically you have those curtains to also uh, black out the light and walking over here you have the uh, uh, storage sideboard for the cutlery and the dishes and then through that door you enter into the galley which also have a lot of storage natural light um, space to prepare the uh, uh, dishes dishwasher and also here you have this l-shaped layout that gives you plenty of space uh, for the crew and the chef to operate and i think it's a very uh, smart uh, setup of the galley because you have space enough to move around and uh, dish out the plates even on a high frequency so and you have enough cold storage i think all in all this is a very good galley From the saloon on the starboard side you pass the staircase to the raised pilot house and then you go forward to the corridor to the master cabin and here on my left is the staircase down to the lower deck the day head which uh, is for the guests on board to use during the day so the day toilet and then also very nice feature is the exit in the master cabin for some fresh air so you have the door on the starboard side then you have a little desk with uh, a draw out um, well drawer and you can work here or a vanity table for the ladies to get the makeup on of course they're all beautiful without it anyway so um, then you have that low swung sofa that gives you also this nice opportunity to enjoy nature and uh, read a book very comfortably and i also think that's a nice touch to have the reeling opened with this uh, inset of glass so you can really look down into the water i think that's a quite a comfortable spot little uh, table bedside table everything you would also find in a luxury uh, hotel penthouse suite you have your um, big um, bed i think it's a one it's a two meter of uh, one meter sixty um, and then actually over here you have this again beautiful big window giving you lots of natural light and of course bedside table the tv is at an angle which i think can be very nice because then you have this uh, uh, feature of uh, kind of a double uh, level penthouse with the bathroom going down uh, through the stairs and you have this reeling with glass so everything is flooded with light and then obviously you have a lot of uh, uh, storage space with uh, which is covered by all these mirrors so it's a bit difficult to film for us but well we're here to show you the boat right so um, and then you have actually a second vanity table so you could really have this one up there as an office and this one as the um, ladies makeup table some storage for all the towels um, you have the ensuite toilet and shower here which has also space for even more than two people and um, then all the mirror cabinets and of course some drawers down here and then that's the bathroom so let's have a look at the lower deck you have the corridor behind is some storage space and then we have further aft the two VIP cabins which are exactly mirrored with a nice big bed in the middle and then obviously this uh, window band it's really beautiful with the traditional style porthole that opens up for some fresh air and then you have again the same look that uh, is contrasting with the beige carpet and the uh, high gloss um, dark wenger wood some storage obviously the tv centered in the middle and then if i go through here you have the ensuite uh, bathroom with uh, shower and toilet obviously also some uh, daylight and uh, fresh air through the opened, uh, opening porthole and it's a very high standard very nice uh, finish and all in very good condition so I'm now coming out of the starboard guest cabins and the port side VIP guest cabin is exactly identical so let's actually go and check out the twin cabins which are further to the bow through the corridor with that little mirror and then here on the starboard side you see this is the twin cabin with the beds uh, sliding together as an option and then you have some storage in this locker space beautiful big window again portal for some fresh air 
and then an ensuite shower and toilet bathroom which is also quite spacious so it's really giving justice to some dear friends and guests coming out of the starboard side guest cabin we go into the port side guest cabin which looks exactly identical so everything is the same you have the ensuite bathroom with the shower the twin beds on a sliding mechanism and the big window band with a porthole for some fresh air honestly it looks like brand new down here <laughs> So now let's check out the command post, the raised pilot house, which is up here. And why it's called raised pilot house? Because it's basically between the upper deck, which is the flybridge, and the main deck in between. That's why it's raised, sit, sitting raised on the main deck. So let's go and check it out. So what we have here is a very well organized cockpit with the steering wheel. You have the engine control levers, which even has its own little covers. So they stay nice and uh, new i like that and then you have the trim tab joystick you have the autopilot vhf of course then you have even a flare night vision camera you have the searchlight you have the uh, simrod autopilot so sorry of course this one over here are the hydraulic bow and stern thrusters my bad and then you have the multi uh, function display control um, which of course is obviously, obviously also with touch screens. You have the upgraded package, so you have three Simrod um, displays, multifunction displays, rudder angle indicator. Of course, they are also multifunctional, so you can put any function on any display. And here you have the stabilizer side power display, and here you have the engine control uh, displays. And um, all in all, you have a very good overview, of course. Now they put those black mesh nets on top, so that the sun gets blocked out. You have some um, storage down here and the command post. And then over here, um, you have this uh, nice little corner. So you could, uh, on long cruises, the guests could join in and you can have your little coffee, which again, this table is covered by some protection. As you can see underneath below, it's like new. So they really take good care on every detail on this yacht. Walking up the stairs out of the race pilot house, there's this sliding door that protects it. And then we are on the flybridge where all the fun happens. But first, let's be a bit serious and check out this flybridge helm station. So steering wheel, engine command, and then side power hydraulic bow and stern thruster. Autopilot, this is the multifunction display for the Sunseeker management system. Basically, that tells you the fuel levels and things like that. Then you have the Simrod multifunction displays. You have um, the um, manual control for the screens, searchlight, repeated Simrod 3 screens, a manual gorgeous compass, everything nicely organized, uh, drink holders, and um, you can step up. So you really have a good overview. And uh, even down to the side deck, you see um, the fishes in the turquoise water actually right now. So it's quite a beautiful home station. Now let's check out the rest of the flybridge where the fun is at the bar, obviously. So you have a top loader fridge. You have um, a really nice um, open area. You have that little raised um, console for putting the drinks. You have a sink, you have an ice maker and a fridge. So enough cold storage here and um, basically some nice uh, teak um, uh, wood uh, uh, doors. Yeah, that's uh, how this bar actually looks like. And then if we move over, we sit on the dining table which is beautifully large and has uh, this u-shaped uh, seating around it these can basically be retracted so you also have a smaller table if you just want to have uh, some bar set up and then below you actually have some plugs so even here you can have electricity and of course um, speaking of uh, the roof that uh, is retractable basically we can uh, um, open up this uh, hard top with a touch of a button and then it's retracting, letting in the sun that is just coming out as we speak about it. So one thing I forgot to mention before, if you come here, there's two extra freezers up here on the flybridge, which is quite a convenient location actually, because that's kind of some dead space. So yeah, here they are and giving you a lot of uh, cold storage. And one more thing I want to tell you is also this is the only Sunseeker 95 yard with a dive board equipped here on the flybridge where you can jump right into the turquoise water.
Coming down from the flybridge, let's check out the front deck. And here we're passing the open balcony and look how beautiful turquoise the water is. This is just amazing. So here on the front deck you have this uh, little lounge table which is quite cozy and then also you have a double anchor winch configuration with uh, those two cleats and the nice little bell, the black anchor ball that you put up when you're at anchor, the uh, searchlight and then you have also some big speakers and if you want to go up those uh, sunbathing cushions here basically you have this little stair you can grab the handle and then you can go up here and then also um, behind here you have some folding uh, uh, backrests that basically allows you to pop open these um, with some backrests and then basically have a nice little nap here in the sun and here in the side bulwarks we basically have a lot of storage space so that's also pretty neat and uh, yeah that's the front deck so as you can see i changed into my swimsuit so we're going to talk about the water sports toys and that's the fun on board so here we have the hydraulic lifting platform let's launch the tender crew please come on let's go and uh, you see it actually goes hydraulically into the water and that's the uh, 445 williams turbojet that goes pretty fast so that alone is a crazy toy but also brings you safely on shore and then on the flying bridge you have the uh, jet ski with the crane and then of course you can load any other water toys, stand-up paddles, flight boards, whatever you like to have fun on the water. And what I really like about this hydraulic platform, it's actually submerging into the water. So it's like your private beach on your yacht. So here we are at the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed the tour and let me tell you that I believe this Sunseeker 95 yacht is a really good opportunity to acquire right now because she is fully loaded with the Atlas frequency converter, she has triple generators, she has a hydraulic balance and thruster, fin stabilizer system, she has the balcony going down, upgraded bathing platform, lifting capacity, the tender, the jet ski, the crane. There's so many options, even a 250 liter power water maker. So she's fully loaded. VT paid ready for a new adventure so let me know if you're interested and thanks for watching we speak yachting let's talk